Hi everyone, welcome to Tukfa. You must be curious what is it in my hand. It's Xiaomi's Wireless Vacuum Cleaner 2. Okay, here are all the stuff from the box. Let's take a look at the cleaner itself. Okay, it's not really heavy, it's easy to hold. So let's check its weight. Okay, let's see, it's around 1 kilogram, 600 grams. It's not heavy. And here is the switcher, so you can switch the air suction power in here so let's try it out that's the first grade and the last grade wow look it's so strong you can use it as a hair dryer look at my hair blowing wow this air flow is really strong so i just want to check it i just wanted to measure it let's see how fast is it the measurement says it's around 80 meters per second and it's really 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 fast okay what else have we got in here uh here is something let's open it up oh it's an air filter and one more button in here it's a trash box so you can get rid of trash really easily that's nice that's easy to use okay and now let's see what do we have next here are the main three brushes so this is the most important brush this is the most important floor brush and this fleece it feels really 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 soft and nice i'm not even sure that you can use it to uh, clean the floor properly because it <laughs> feels more like a rug you know okay the next brush uh you can use it to clean a bed or a sofa and the last one is a two-in-one head brush so you mainly use it to clean some kind of gaps or ceilings okay what else do we have in here they always left is an extension rod a mount bracket and a charger and an instruction manual that's it the main improvement of the media wireless vacuum cleaner 2 is the suction power it can reach up to 150 air watts which is 25 percent stronger compared to the 120 air watts of the media 1c the filter system has also been upgraded now there is the most advanced 12 cone airflow design on the market. It can more effectively separate fine dust particles, ensure smooth airflow, further improve the efficiency of the filter element and increase the time of use of the filter. And now let's see, how's the suction power? So let's just take the bottle and let's see what will happen next. Okay, it's definitely not enough. Let's switch it to the highest grade and see what will happen after this. Okay, here is the power. So, to show it to you more clearly, we also prepared this. Are you ready? Let's begin. So, as you see, the suction power of this vacuum cleaner is not a problem. Okay, let's do a cleaning test. First, we spread 20 grams of flour on the ground and turn on the highest suction grade. The effect is obvious and the cleaning rate reaches 99%. Let's wrap it with a towel to see if there is any flour on the towel. Then look at the brush head. There is no obvious sign of anything. Then let's try to use 150 grams of beans as illustrations of small pieces of garbage. Yep, it's better to switch to the highest suction power grade and there won't be any troubles. Large beans are sucked in instantly and there are only a few bits on the ground. Let's take a look at the brush head. There are a few bits stuck in the gap. There will always be food residues on the ground at home. Now we use 50 grams of biscuit crumbs to do the test. Once again, use the highest grade suction power and look, there are no problems with it. And there are no biscuit crumbs left on the floor brush. Finally, let's test the pet form. The pet form of pets at home is literally everywhere. For the next test, I've tried to use the low-grade suction power and form was cleaned up completely. No problems at all. Also, the form didn't stick to the brush. 
When I saw the splash brush first, I thought it's really suitable for carpet cleaning, so let's run another carpet cleaning test. In the same way, first sprinkle 20 grams of flour, spread it everywhere and switch the suction power to a highest grade. The cleaning rate is also around 99%. We wiped it with a towel and there was nothing left. Then we used cat litter on the carpet and tested it again. We can see that the cleaning efficiency is still very good and there is no residue after just one cleaning. Next, let's take a look at the cleaning effect of the other two brush heads. Let's first look at the mite removal brush. I spread the covered powder on the sofa and run it over with the highest level of suction power. It can be clearly seen that the cleaning is basically great, but I still feel that there are some grains left. Let's take a look at the effect of the flat brush head when we use it to clean the gaps. Mm, I think the result is not so good. <sighs> I really regret as I put all of this powder on my sofa. I don't recommend to do it at home. After a few tries, I've decided to use a rag to clean it up. I don't think I should have done this. I better use to clean up the floor gaps. Um, yep, yeah, the result is great. So not just these, but curtains, the ceiling, or keyboards, any place that needs to be cleaned can be cleaned with this vacuum cleaner. For vacuum cleaners, the suction power is not the most important point of concern for many users. What everyone cares more about is battery capacity. I have a picture here of the officially released time of use, so let's test the actual battery capacity now. First, we fully charged it, because the button of this thing should be pressed all the time to make it work. We did a little trick. Ready, go! The actual battery capacity is 1 hour and 12 minutes if you use the minimum suction power during this time. Then we fully charged it again and switched it to the standard suction power level. After this, it ran for 26 minutes. Finally, we are going to test the highest suction power grade. With the highest suction power, the charge ended up running for 9 minutes and 50 seconds. You can use this test as a reference. In fact, the running time will be shortened a little after inserting the brush head. In addition, let's talk about the noise of the vacuum cleaner. The lowest suction power is around 69 decibels, and the highest suction power is around 85 decibels. In my personal use, this sound does not feel harsh. The garbage dumping method of this vacuum cleaner is more convenient. Just press at the button and it will all be poured out. If there is some fur, just twist it here, remove it, and clean it up. It takes 3 hours and 30 minutes to fully charge the battery. Except for the limit test, I have never used up this battery under regular cleaning. In addition, Xiaomi's accessories are all easy to wash, and if they are dirty, they can also be thrown directly into the water for cleaning. In the overall use of this product, the experience of using it is still really great. There are two highlights. One is that the suction power test with beans has shown a great result. The second is that the running time of the lowest suction power is long enough, but I think it's necessary to increase the running time of the high suction power grade. When you clean hair in a large area, it entangles on the roller brush and it needs to be cleaned manually. And I don't really like that, that you have to hold the button while cleaning. It feels not so comfortable to keep finger on the button all the time. With the current design, the lifespan of the filter is already very long, and the official statement says that it needs to be replaced every year. If you don't want to spend your money on it, you can just clean your old filter, it's up to you. The filter will be still very clean. In addition, the appearance of this product is also in the line with my eye aesthetics. If you would like to get a vacuum cleaner that can be regarded as a good-looking home appliance, that is it. In addition, you can also buy a wet mopping set when purchasing it which can help you to mop the floor easier. Well, that's it for now. If you think that we have done a good job, we hope you hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to test another vacuum cleaners, please leave a comment below. This is Tukfan, see you next time!